<laughs> I wanted to open it on camera because this is the first time I have like a decent amount of things. I usually only buy like 15 to 20 things, but today I think I have around 30 items. I already pretty much opened everything just to make it easier. This is gonna be part of like a mini haul. I think I have two other things I wanted to open. I have some albums that I bought and they're all like post Iceman releases. So I wanted to open that. And then as well as Silky's 28 Reasons Mumo albums. So I'll probably have that in the next two clips, but this is my Mercari Japan part. And this one came with a lot of stuff. I'm gonna show you this first. So the first bigger item is just a bunch of stationery. I just found this random listing while looking at, I think it was the Sanrio tag, and someone was selling this for, I think in total, even with shipping and everything, like the service fee, it was like $8, which is crazy because this is so much. This, I think these are bags. Yeah, these are like cute bags to put stuff in. There's so many characters. Who the fuck? <laughs> Who is this? This guy's really cute. Oh. So I got a bunch of bags to put drugs in. I'm just kidding. Once again, we have all of the cuties in a little bag form. When am I gonna use these? I don't know, but I think they're cute, so. And then this, I don't think I'm gonna open this. It's like sealed all the way around, but it's just more, uh, what are these called? Ew, look at my thumbs. All my other nails are long, but my thumbs are fucking stubby. I slammed this into the top of my car when I was driving. I don't have road rage, by the way. <sighs> These are called post-it things, but they're not sticky. Notepads. And then, this is what I was like the most interested in. It's like this little paper booklet thingy. Kind of like a file holder almost. So I haven't gotten into this, but this kept falling out. I think these are little like circle pochaco stickers. More stickers more post-it note thingies ah. whoa this is so many <laughs> a little cupcake i like these little mini ones because i usually have smaller cards when i do trades and sales but i'll definitely be using these i think that was it in this pocket and in this pocket we have Ooh. i could use this to decorate one of the binders I got, cause it's like a jelly one. So I could put this in like one of the sides of the pocket. That would be so cute. It's really thin though, but I think it would still work. This looks like some more character thing things. I'm so glad I got this. And this is really cute. I can maybe use this for school. I don't know. Or just to hold my stationery. <laughs> and then the other big item I bought is FX Hot Summer. This also dirt fucking cheap. It said it was kind of damaged, but I can't see any like obvious damage. Um maybe a little discolored. It's probably hard to see on camera. <gasps> I, oh, it opens like this. What the? Interesting. They're like full body shots and stuff. This is such an awkward angle. But yeah, that's so cute. The SMR came with it. This is so cute. I do really want to have all of FX's albums. I'm gonna try to order more off Mercari Japan because I usually have a lot of FX albums. Some of them are more expensive than others, but I think it's definitely worth it. This is my favorite repackage from them. I mean, they only had two, but this one's my favorite. <laughs> Next, I'll go through the photo card stuff. So this was sitting on top. This is the only like postcard-ish item I got. It's an electric shock Taiwanese benefit, I'm pretty sure. It came in like an accordion thing, so the other members were attached at the corners. This is Taiwan only. These are all the photo cards I got, which is definitely like the bulk of my purchase so these were in like weird cardboard configurations so i took them all out some of them are still in there but and these all have top loaders so i'll just go through the ones without top loaders first i have this chiwan oh i have both of them actually both of her heart eyes kinos i already have this one but these came in a set together so 
Now I have both of her kinos. I completed her colorized kinos as well, which I think is in this pile. Next, I have these Nadine's cards. These all came in a set as well. I really, really love their debut. And I don't really plan on collecting them. If I were to collect them, I'd probably collect Honey or Minji, but I don't typically off the bat collect rookies, but these cards are really cute. I think these two are the back cards, and this is like the new jeans card, but they came in a set really cheap, so I just decided to get them. Also, <laughs> this logo always throws me off. It looks like it says WGSN, but it, the end is right there. Yeah. Also, these cards are such interesting material. Next, I have this ISO card, and I don't think I showed my ISO collection yet, but I did start collecting her, and this is one of the last cards I needed. I think I'm missing one card, but I will probably show that when I store photo cards my setup for her and stuff. But this is one of her Winnie Buff cards. Now I have two One Year Diary AR cards. So I did decide to start collecting Jaewon's ARs just because I wanted to finish her album cards, like complete ARs and all. Another thing I added on was Sogi's Japanese card. So I got her Bloom photo card. Next is a more random card. I got this Chani Be Aware card. I really like this comeback and I just like Chani in general and this card is so cute. So I'm adding this to like my random cards that I just like. Let's get the rest of the men out of the way. I have Yujung's. What the fuck is this called? Zuri Ona. I think that's what it's called. But these are his three Japanese cards from their like newest physical release. Yeah, very pretty. And then I saw this card for like $2 and I had to have it. This is my second favorite concept with like the little cat ears. And then I have this, which I've been looking for for so long. It's a little damaged, but that doesn't really surprise me. Like there's like a line here, but it's also bigger than I expected. So hopefully it'll fit in the pages I have. If not, I'll just put it with my bigger inclusion stuff. I kept these in the cardboard for some reason. But I have Isla's We Need Love with Moo. This is with Moo. With the Hello Kitty ears, I cannot resist. She just gets me. Also, I have, <gasps> I'm gonna find it right now. Dude! Yeah, I cannot believe. And then I ordered a bundle of Jaewon non album cards. I bought it for this. I think the whole set was $9. So I got her one reeler pre order and some other non album cards. These two are the same. I knew that in the listing, but I bought it anyway. These are Japanese cards, I yeah, from 12. And then this is another non album card special surprise I'm very cool Ooh, I like the hollow and this is from the icon I believe the little tennis cards these are the ones I have that are left in the packaging this first one I am so excited about I don't know what this is from it is a Pinocchio card this is in the back so this could totally be not official but I really wanted it I have one of so these Japanese cards, this is from Cookie Jar. Both colorized kinos. Which, now I have all her photo card sized kinos. Yeah. This hair on her is so cute. And then I got her other unit from Colorize with Yujin and Minju. Next, <gasps> this is exciting. Dude, she's so cute. And it also came with freebies. Hold on. Usually Japanese sellers don't really give freebies. A bunch of cute stickers. Wait, I'm gonna go. I also have this Irene card. I've always wanted this card. I really like the Dum Dum cards with like in this specific outfit. And I bought this card for a reason. It like fills up my binder really well. Yes, I have Irene's the red card. And I have two of Luda's sequence pops that I didn't claim in a group order. I just found these secondhand for a pretty good price. But I wanted these to fill up three full pages, so I'll have 12 pops in total for sequence, and it just like matches really well. This is Beat Road, I believe. This one is the Starship Square for, I think it was the jewel case. Then I have the last Sluggy Japanese card. This is from Sappy. I think it's my favorite one. I love the styling. The back's really pretty. And then the very last thing is a few more ISO cards. I have our digipad for We Need Love. And then I also have her, I think this is a power version maybe? Yes. And then I did get her circle card. I wasn't really planning to collect it, but it came in the set. So I just decided that 
I am now collecting it, I guess. I actually hate circle cards. I have trauma from standing in CT. That was everything in my Mercari Japan package. I'm excited to put these away. Oh wait, I have something else. I still have these two letters I got in the mail today, so I guess I, I already opened them just to see what they were, but I will show what these are as well. Let me move everything. <laughs> okay, so both of these letters are from Canada. I think literally the same place in Canada. They both arrived pretty quickly. Usually Canadian sales take forever to get to me, but this came really fast. The first thing is this Taiwan, I believe it's called Olive Young. I'm not planning to collect more pops for Taiwan for Le Seraphim, but I thought this one was really cute. Also, it was really cheap. You ordered these in sets, and so you got each member. So I think I paid $3 for this. And I've seen people pricing it for so crazy just because it's like a showcase card. And this is the other card I got. There's actually two cards. This is Haram's Beat Road from The Village of Perception Chapter 1. I am so happy I found this for like a really good price. I had a bundle with a card I already had, but I did not mind because I have been looking for this card. Village of Perception, especially Chapter 1, is so difficult to find pre-orders for. I found this for a really reasonable price and I got it with this card, which I already have, but <gasps> yay, I'm so happy I have these. This is like the one pop from chapter one I wanted so badly. Okay, now that's everything. Okay, next clip will be me opening albums. So I have a package with a few albums that I'm really excited to open. <gasps> okay, so all of these just so happen to be post eyes one releases. I have Beauty's jewel case from her newest comeback, the Seraphim and Ive. So I'm gonna get into these. So these are the albums I got. They're all pretty small, but I just prefer smaller albums in general. I am going to open Beauty's album first. I know a lot of people don't like jewel cases, but I don't mind them. I prefer more compact and tiny albums. And also most jewel cases come with two photo cards, so I liked this album. I don't think I liked it as much as her other two releases, but I love the styling for this. This is probably, next to Glassy, this is definitely, I think, my favorite concept that she's done, which is just like a pretty concept, but I just think this look is so cute. It's just a lot more colorful. Yeah, also the photo cards for this album are superior. I am obsessed with them. It's the CD. Okay, and here are the photo cards. Oh, <gasps> cute! <gasps> oh, I think my favorite song is Blank. I really, really like it. Okay, nice. Next, I'll do La Seraphim and Do Fragile. So I just bought Chaewon's compact version and then the Weavers version. I know they sell some of these in Target. I do kind of want to get the like bigger main album, but I'm still waiting to go to Target to see if they have it. Or I might not even buy it just because it's pretty big. And as I said, I prefer smaller albums. And I like that this one is like Che One specific. I cannot open it. Okay. I'm still obsessed with this comeback. I got Che One. Okay, I'm gonna show the polls first. We have Sakura and Kazuha in. Oh, this J1 card. Great pulls, great pulls. And then this Sakura Pulls card. The CD. And then the Blitz. I still am in love with her short black hair. I don't really love the styling for the photo books, but this look in specific is really, really cute. I like the one with the fuzzy hat. I definitely prefer the streetwear just because, like, the. I think the frozen aquamarine one, the dresses kind of just look like Forever 21, which isn't a bad thing, but they could have went harder with the styling for the photo book concepts. I am very pleased with this. I wasn't really planning to collect the units, but I will probably keep this anyway. I'm gonna do the compact version. Or no, this is the Weavers version. This is like the smallest Weavers album I've ever gotten. Oh my god, <gasps> so cute. And then, <gasps> this is Unche. Was she? I thought she was eating a banana. That's a chip. Okay, cute. Also, these cards are so weird. They're like papery. <gasps> Yay, okay, cute. 
And then lastly, I have Eyes After Like. This is version two. This song has been stuck in my head for like the past four weeks. I liked it when it came out, but like it's grown crazily strong on me. Yeah, I've thought about collecting Eyes, but I don't really have like a specific member I particularly am very drawn to collecting. I liked all the releases, but I think just the fact that they only have two songs per comeback, so I haven't really gotten like super into them. But I love this concept, and I don't really care whose card I pull, because the cards for this concept in specific are all so cute, so I will be happy with anyone. I don't feel like fully unboxing it, so I'm just going to show my pulls. So I have this Liz postcard thingy. We have One Young Circle. And... Oh, you go! Oh my god, I love this outfit on her very pretty and then the cd i don't feel like taking it off and then single oh it's a director you can't see it here are their heads okay those were all my albums that i had now i will open my Sulgi lumo album okay bye i have Sulgi's 28 reasons albums i just got them today i feel like this release came out like a while ago it's been like over a month it took a while since I got them from Lumo. I joined a group order. This is the group order I joined. They're my fave. But I got one of each version. I wanted to order from Lumo because they come with pre-order benefits and they're really, really cute, so. Oh my God, this is so tiny. All right, so I got the photo book version, the case version, and then I only got one cover of the special version. I thought this was gonna be bigger for some reason i thought it was gonna be like i don't know like a box size only the covers are different for this the photo book inside is still the same the other two covers for this special version i know are this concept and this concept in each of the album versions but so that's why i got this one because it's like the different concept i think i have been dying to unbox these it just took a really long time i think Lumo generally takes a little bit longer these are the pre-order benefits which i'm gonna go through first I guess this came with as well like a little postcard but i did get three photo cards for each of the versions this one this one i think this one's my favorite i love this outfit i wish they used more of the mood sampler clips in the mv that's what i was expecting but i guess they're like two different things so i don't think i'm just gonna open them postcard i know some people don't like to open these but i personally don't care so i will sleeve them on my own and then these are where all the backs look like they're just plain black with the logo and stuff yeah these are the mumo period benefits so i'll go into opening the albums okay i'm gonna start with the photo book version i'm glad her albums weren't extremely huge this version is pretty big but it's definitely not as big as other packaging red velvet has done These pages are thick. No, they're just stuck together. Ooh, okay. I think these were the first teasers that dropped. Ah, oh, they're so pretty. I really like that she went for this concept. I feel like everyone knew she was gonna give cunt, which I'm glad she ended up doing. <gasps> the nails, I'm a sucker for nails. I literally just did mine yesterday. I had to cut them short though, because they were getting kind of fragile. <gasps> Ooh, I love how different the vibes are. <sighs> wow. Okay. <gasps> There's a photo card. Okay. Pretty. Ooh, is this a postcard? Okay. saying much i'm just staring intently at these pictures this is my first time seeing all these pictures i haven't really watched any unboxings <gasps> nice i fucking love that i really hope Sylvie has a comeback in the future it's such nice quality too i really i really really like this okay and then it came with this postcard thingy i don't know if there's different ones or if this one comes in all of them i'm assuming there's probably different ones but here's that one next i'll do the case version 
which I don't know if I like these case versions anymore. I know the first time they did it was with Irene and Sylvie's subunit, and then they did it for Espa as well. I don't really like the Espa one. I don't know. I don't really like how it's just like plastic. I like the Queendom one, even though I don't even have it, but pff, it's like kind of, I don't know if this is broken. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like this is a plastic box, but whenever they do the case versions, the CD plates always look really cool. So let me zoom in actually. So this is like the snowy concept, like snow white type of concept. Oh my God. Ow. Okay. Let's see, these like a golden apple. <gasps> There's a photo card. And a sad poster. Oh, this is the lyric booklet. I still really, really enjoy this album a lot. My favorite track is definitely Anywhere But Home. I listen to that still like daily. I also really like Bad Boy Sad Girl. Um, 28 Reasons, also amazing. I don't really listen to Dead Man Running or Los Angeles that much. I like Crown as well. Yeah, very solid album. The only complaint I have is with the music video. It was still good, but I just thought it was not very exciting. I was just expecting more just based off the the mood sampler. But the MV was just kind of like, it was just cool. I don't know. Mm. Sorry, I cannot show posters very well. But look, I mean, are we kind of matching with our nails? I do like these mini photo books though. I think these are cool. Whoa. I love this. I like the lyrics. Usually I'm not a big fan of that, but it just really fits with it, the concept. Evil negatively affects others. So true. I love eating ice. What the fuck? She's just like me. What the fuck? So he knows what the girls want. When I saw this teaser picture, yeah. The fucking hairy dude, love him. I wish that were me, whatever. These pictures with the cracked glass or mirror. Yeah, mirror or glass. I fucking love it. Oh my God, she's so fucking cool. Yup, okay. Mine's a little scuffed, but that's fine. That's another thing. These cases get damaged pretty easily. Let me just straighten out the apple. I kind of don't want to put it back in here, but I will for now. And lastly, we have this one, which is kind of heavy for it being like so tiny. But I also really like this one because it comes with two photo cards, which is like, I feel like Red Velvet never does two photo cards unless it's like a unit or something. But... Oh, I love this feeling. It's like a soft matte. This is. That's so thick. <laughs> they have her little hunting outfit and then her bangs look. I know she drew the backs. So cool. I am obsessed with this. This is really thick, so I'm just gonna. The spine is very. <gasps> the CD's so tiny! <gasps> Ooh! Sorry, there's so much. <gasps> is this a. Is this supposed to do that? I. Uh. Um, we'll just. Ignore that. Yeah, quick flip through. I want to see her drawings though. That's one of the things that really drew me into biasing Sulky is like how fucking creative she is. And I love when she posts her art on her Instagram and stuff. I keep missing it. <laughs> this. Ah, she's so cool. I really like this version. I kind of want to get the other two so I can like line them up. If I can get this back in. I can't get this in! <laughs> Look at the corner. The nails. Oh, that's so fucking cool. I love her. Those were all the versions and the cards I got. I'm actually going to store them, I think, right now because I don't really have that much to store and I've been dying to put these away. So I'm going to get my binder and put them away right now. So, okay, I got my binder out. So I'm going to quickly sleeve my cards. And I wanted to talk about birthday because I didn't buy any albums, even though. 
I regret it because all the album details are so cool. It's probably some of their best packaging to date. They're doing like the case version, but they put like such a cool twist on it with like it looking like a birthday cake with like the little like standy thing. It sometimes feels like Red Velvet's kind of like forgotten a lot in SM. I'm like surprised they even got a second comeback this year, but they always go all out with the packaging. So <laughs> that always gives me some kind of hope <laughs> that SM still kind of cares about Red Velvet and they aren't just gonna like kick them to the curb like they do with FX. RIP. In terms of music, birthday was I it was good, but like I was like expecting a little more. I grabbed the perfect amount of sleeves. Nice. Birthday as a title track is good. Definitely not one of my favorites from them, but like definitely not bad either. I love the music video. I feel like Red Velvet music videos lately have like a certain vibe to them. It kind of reminds me of Feel My Rhythm, but in like a more quirky way. That's another thing. I wanted Birthday to be a little bit more quirky in terms of sound. I don't know. I just love quirky shit, I guess. But in terms of music, it was solid. I think I really enjoyed Bye Bye the most. I also really liked On a Ride. It was just kind of, you know, it was a little quirky. The other one and then the ballad, I think it was called Celebrate. I thought it was really cute. Like it's a pretty song, but I just don't really think I'll ever listen to it really. Yeah, but the photo cards, wow. The cake version, <laughs> I need it so bad. I will probably be purchasing them all at once. I'm just gonna order a bunch of cards I need off Makara Japan in like a month or two just to catch up and stuff. I downsized my collection, but I kind of regret it. So I might make a video of me <laughs> like sorting through stuff I took out and then probably be putting it back in because I'm so fucking indecisive. I don't, <gasps> okay, let me put my cards away because I'm talking about random shit now. Initially, I thought there's gonna be only 12 cards, but then the special version ended up having two photo cards in the album. So the photo book case and the like main version of the special version will each go on a page with one of three of the Momo cards. And then I put all three of the special version special cards, the ones with like the, the like drawing in the back, I'm gonna put them all here. And then I did order her hollow photo card because they finally dropped merch. It was so underwhelming. I wish they did more for her merch drop because I know they always do merch drops after like releases, but there was like a film strip, a postcard, which is like standard, but I wish they did something like kind of cool, like a keychain or something. I don't know. So I have that on the way. Yeah, I'm gonna store these. So this is the photo book card. This is the one of the Mumos. And we have the case card. And then this Mumo. Then the special version. So these just have like, I think they're all red backs. I'm pretty sure. And then this is the last Mumo. And then this is the other special version card with like the drawing in the back. And these three will all go on their own page. Yeah. Who the fuck is hammering? And then I'll probably get the hollow photo card probably in like a month or two, hopefully. I guess I'll show my setup for birthday. So for birthday, I'm pretty sure there's only like four actual photo cards. I know there's a circle card, but I'm not going to collect it because I hate circle cards. <laughs> but we have the photo book version, like the main, like it's like a spiral kind of book, I think. And the cake version, I might try to get it secondhand. They sold out, so I'm kind of worried that they're going to be hard to get, but I kind of doubt it because I think still a lot of people bought them and I'm still holding out that SM will reprint it. Not even reprint it. The album just came out. I don't understand why SM doesn't just order more albums when they know that they're gonna be in high demand. Like, it's so fucking stupid. And then they had a Digipack version, which I don't mind Digipack, so I might pick this up as well. And then the mini version, which is like a little like, it's literally just like a little Kino. It's really cute. I kind of want to get it as well, but it feels kind of like a waste of money. Pretty sure a photo card comes in it. I could be wrong though, but I hope there's four cards because that's like perfect. I think this is where I'm going to end this video. I was just tired of this being empty, so I really wanted to put these cards away on camera because I might have just held them off until I do another storing photo cards video, which probably won't be for a while because I'm not buying photo cards right now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed my haul. I don't know if I'll do one in the future. Okay, I'm going to go watch One Piece. See ya! <laughs>